Our next activity is from the famous author Simon Sinek. He calls it the golden circle, and here's how he explains it. Why, how, what? This little idea explains why some organizations and some leaders are able to inspire where others aren't. Let me define the terms really quickly. Every single person, every single organization on the planet knows what they do 100%. Some know how they do it, whether you call it your differentiating value proposition or your proprietary process or your USP, but very, very few people or organizations know why they do what they do. And by why, I don't mean to make a profit. That's a result. It's always a result. By why, I mean what's your purpose, what's your cause, what's your belief? Why does your organization exist? Why do you get out of bed in the morning? And why should anyone care? People don't buy what you do, people buy why you do it. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. People buy why, not what, right? Why you do what you do, not what. So we wanna actually use the same activity about defining what we do, how we do, but also why we do. Because then we can construct a better story than just what we do. Because in this room, we are all designers. That's simple. That doesn't make us different at all. How we do it, slightly, but why we do it, is almost always a little bit different. So we work from the outside in. For example, I say, oh, um, publish UX content. That's what I do. And then how I do it, or how I will do it, let's just say, it could be aspirational too. So I build playbooks to guide designers. Why do I do it? Because I wish I would have had the same content when I started, right? It was a bit like, what do I do to learn about UX? So for you, it could be, you wanna get into UX design, you wanna create a switch. How did you do it? Yeah, there's a unique story there, but ultimately, why did you do it? Why were you drawn to the field? What makes it special to you? Let me start the timer. So first, start with your what. Your what should be easy. As many things in terms of what you do as a designer. You can be as granular as well. The point is to get all your ideas out, right? So if you do, I don't know, heuristic evaluations, if you love user research, what, what, part of user research do you like, right? If you love getting down and dirty into Figma, building design systems, that's also fine. It's really to filter out the what you do. Hey Chris, I'll have to hop off in like one minute, but it was lovely meeting you guys. Thanks for a great first session. See how you guys are doing. Right. Think of when you're in your design job or when you've looked at a design project, what do you do in it? Anything you can think of. Some more ideas on what could be, you know, you can break it down as tasks if you want. You know, think about your day-to-day. -day. Is there a lot of UX documentation? Is there a lot of usability testing? Is there other things in your day job that you can kind of write down?
If you have not moved on to how, please move on to how. How did you do it? How did you get there? Was it a lot of research by yourself? Self-learning? Is the answering how you did some of these tasks and activities? And remember, it's not just the good things. It could be the bad things. It could be arguing with stakeholders. That is, that is what I did a lot. So for example, my how was I, I tried to consume as much as I could. I probably listened to about three design podcasts a day, uh, one of them being design details. I don't listen to it anymore, but that was helping me level up my design uh, thinking just around how to solve pro uh, product problems, what were the experts talking about. Then I consumed so much stuff from Chris Doe. Yet again, that's how I did it. I found people in the community that were inspirational and I just read as much as I could, right? What was your story of how you got there? And then if you are done with the how, feel free to move on to the why. Think back to before you took the plunge, what was it about this field that really was interesting? Was it the creativity output? You can also imagine the best time you've had on a design project or when you feel the most energized like what made you feel most energized, right? Maybe that's your why. Maybe seeing something come to life or pushing a project live on the interwebs or anything that kind of gives you that sense of, oh yes, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. For me, it was originally just because I lost hours into playing with Wix, right? It was that simple, but what, is your why.
give you guys another, let's just say 30 seconds to finish off your last one. Same with our voting, our dot voting. It's gonna be very hard because you have to vote on one post-it per section. So one on what, one on how, and one on why. Please uh, drag that dot onto one to mark it like, oh, I think that's the what I do. Or at least for me, that sounds like the best how. And then of course, the most important is, I think this is the why. You know, this is the strongest why that calls out to me. And remember this, you can change it later, getting started versus being right. Let's take some time to vote on one what, one how, one why. Don't worry, uh, of course, you can go back to the drawing board and come up with more what's that hopefully connect the dots with, with the hows and whys. Now we've kind of reflected on who are we, our superpowers, we kind of want to define what we want to get uh, out of this, but also in a career. Bottom left, your goals. 